Do you feel the vibes? Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Night Storm here and we're back with another video and this time we are going to do a Nitro's like fave builds with Nitro Storm and uh, this episode we've got Nitro's Nell, you know my Nell, like the build that I got for her and it's a showcase at the same time so this is pretty much a 2 in 1 video and let's get right into it so first off, let's look at my build for Nell. So for now, as you can see here, the stats are pretty solid right now, as you can tell. Now, hopefully you guys won't get too salty. You know, I I recently rerolled my Yuki and my Popples, and I got good effects. So for my purple Yuki, I got 30% spiritual pressure, and then for my my card, of course, you know, it's the normal 15 SP combo with the coin. But now instead of the coin, we have the popples which has 30 attack so just from looking at the stats we have uh, 60 attack 75 spiritual pressure build which is you know a slight upgrade to my 50 attack 50 SP build which I can't really do for purple so I do lose focus but it's fine and then for character links we've got uh, frenzy Ichigo, frenzy Renji and frenzy Byakuya as you can see once I upgrade her character links these three will be redundant but for now since my character link slot levels are still zero we can use them just fine so we're going to be doing three different raids today and this will show you guys her damage with no killer and no attribute advantage which is the shinsu raid and then we will be doing a raid with killer advantage actually we'll, we'll do four so this might be a pretty long video but i just wanted to show you guys you know her damage output on every single type of level. So the first thing we'll do is no no killer advantage, no attribute advantage, so Shinsu raid. Uh, no attribute advantage but killer advantage, so Kenpachi raid. Uh, attribute advantage but no killer advantage, Kisuke raid. And last but not the least, killer advantage and attribute advantage. So hopefully so this video will be quite long, but of it will be, you know, it should be pretty informative. You know, I'll show you guys how she is, and you know, how she does. So let's start off with the worst one, quote unquote, which is no attribute advantage, no killer advantage. So this first of all, we're not we're not going to use a friend, and we're not going to use any boosts either. So you'll see her complete damage output with the build that I just showed you guys. As you can see there, the link slots. I could upgrade the link slots, but I don't have a plan for Nell's build yet, so I'm not. So I'm going to refrain on that for now. All right. So for now, let's have a look at her normal attacks real quick. So I apologize for that. It's just the emulator glitching out. But without further ado, so as you can see, it's a pretty decent attack speed. But the last attack has a slight delay. The first three is pretty quick, you know, like the really quick succession. But then there's a slight delay before the last hit. Now it hits once on the first two. On the third hit, that hits twice, so it's split into two. And then the last and then the last hit is just one hit as well. So if you can if you see here, let's go to find the first enemies. So like so let's uh, dodge these guys first. As you can see there. So you know I have to make sure that I don't get hit too often, but there you go, that's the that's the Nad string. Let's look at the first strong attack. As you can see it hits twice, but with frenzy it hits a total of four times. There's the initiation and then there's the movement. Two different attacks. So we'll wait for our strong attack to recharge. Initiation, movement. So as you can see there, it did about I think 8k, because you know, 2k each hit, as you can see there. So pretty decent. So you know, let's finish these guys off with the first strong attack. As you can see, that you know, it quick charging because of her innate fourteen percent. So now let's move on to the second strong attack. So the second strong attack is pretty cool. Uh, it's a vortex, but they made it look nice. It's a bonfire with Don the Chaka and Peshe walking around it. 
and it has music as well. So you know, it has a burn effect, uh, the Vortex doesn't last that long anyway. But that means it has a quick cooldown. As you can see there, it has a chance to burn and it hits a total of 10 times. So if we wait for it to charge, it hits about, you know, about 500 each time and it hits a total of 20 times with Frenzy. So that's about, let's see, 500 times 10, 5, so 10k, about 10k damage overall, which is pretty strong. It just, it's just that it doesn't happen in an instant. But as you can see, you can group enemies together and then just clear them out. And like so. So after we kill these guys real quick, let's move on to the third strong attack. So on the third strong attack, she uses her, her skirt and then she spins around making huge AoE damage as you can see there and then she puts it back on afterwards so now we have to wait about 12 seconds to do the, uh, the strong attack so let's just clear these guys out real quick and these guys out you know what I'm saying there you go alright let's wait for this guy first alright now let's use it in the next room so as you can see here her, th her third strong attack it hits three times as you can see that it was about 1700 a hit and it hits three times six times with frenzy so if you do some quick math that's a uh, 3.4k each frenzy hit which is you know uh, 3.4k times three is about 10.2k which is pretty good considering she doesn't have an advantage like any type of advantage against these guys you know this is neutral damage which is really good so now we're at the boss room uh, to unfortunately her special is you know glitched as well on emulator so I think by the time you've, you've been seeing this you've already seen her special you know in all, in all her glory so this is just me you know wrecking her real, wrecking him real quick special like that oh Shinsu's gonna use his Bushogama and then let's just uh, use our vortex like there and then initiation and movement so hopefully in this raid you can see her damage and how she does on non damaging you know non boosted damage so that's, that was totally neutral and now let's you know have a little bit more fun so this time we'll, we're gonna move on to the Kenpachi raid which has Arankar enemies because her killer is Arankar so we'll have the killer advantage but not the attribute advantage so same thing no boosts no friends let's go so in this in this in this um, run since we have you know since we pretty much viewed how her moveset and skills are we can do more into you know some more chill gameplay so if you go here like this you know do the first strong attack to initiate as you can see there about 2.5k a hit on the first strong attack which is you know about I'd say 10k overall and then for the second strong attack it's about 600 this time so you know about 12k damage now and then the nad string as you can see there see now you can see it really smoothly as you can see I was right on the third hit the third hit of the nad string is split into two for the third strong attack you know pretty much wrecks the enemies it's about let's see about 12k damage on the around cars that are not that are you know that are not weakened no not are not weak to purple but if these were mind around cars you could do like, even more damage but you know we'll wait for that as you can see there do some of these and there we go very nice so we move on to these guys, just my Vortex, pretty much died already, very nice, it's pretty fun to play, you know, it's like a breath of fresh air. We move on to these guys, as you can see, and the initiation can be used, like, even when you're near the enemies, because her initiation on the first skill has a small area of effect, like so. So far, you know, pretty much having fun in the raid, not really getting hit. But these guys are kind of annoying. So if I did get hit by that, I wouldn't be surprised. Rip them up like so. And then move on to these guys. 
and do my third strong attack. Then I'm gonna oh, there we go. I think we're at the boss now. Yes, we are at the boss. So you know, can is a soul, uh, a soul reaper slash captain, so we're not gonna do any boosted damage. We might as well do some boosted damage like that. Oh, of course I'll get hit by that. Let's just finish him off real quick. As you can see there. And then just, you know, he wasn't gonna have a chance from that because he was stuck in the vortex. So there you go guys, this is now, you know, a little more of a boosted damage output. Now let's see, you know, let's have a little bit more fun. So this time we're going to move on to the Kisuke raid. And this time we don't have the killer advantage, but we have the attribute advantage. So let's go right ahead and do this. So I think for the Kisuke raid and the Yoruichi raid, I'm just going to play through it. You know, with a little more concentration perhaps. So you can like maybe have a better feel on how to play her maybe if you don't know. I mean, it's pretty simple really. You know, just use her strong attacks. Hopefully at the best points. Like for example, over there. Then like so. Okay. Oh. There you go. Yeah, that's the first room cleared. Initiation on these guys. And do some of that. Some of these. And then some of these. Oh. Alright. I didn't need the I didn't even need that. <clears throat> oh. So as you see that that was like an example of how far her range goes. It's pretty decent. It's not a full screen attack. So you know people like Full Green to go would shine better there. Going like so. Easy peasy. I should I shouldn't have knocked him down, but oh well. Oh very nice. As you can see the damage is slightly better as you can see there. It's about 6.6k times Oh, oh that's my fault right there guys, I'm sorry. Uh, let me just heal myself, you know I was speaking, you know. So it was you know 6.6k times two so that's like 13k damage there so really strong and my nad string is better as you can see because my build is still pretty hybrid this one's on the 700 range now so 14k on the second strong attack all right let's move on to here so we're now the kisuke so now i can quickly show you guys the third strong attack damage so here, you know, it's about, you know, 2.7k this time. Let's move out of the way. He's going to use a special as well, so we got to be careful. So we'll, we'll quickly do the math afterwards after we kill him. So it was 3 point, no, it was 2.7k each. And it hits 6 times total because of Frenzy. So 5.4k times 3 is about 16.2k on the third strong attack which you know pretty neat so now we're gonna have some fun guys we're gonna move on to the Yoruichi raid and let's see if we can let's see if we can beat our current record I mean it's not really that fast it's 1 minute 13 and that's using Nell so hopefully this this time you might enjoy this one this is more of a you know quick playthrough because if you oh, we've got the maximum amount of characters so I'll be back in a quick second guys. Alright guys, we're back and we're moving on to the Yoruichi raid. So as, as I said earlier, we're going to be having some fun. Hopefully we beat our record without boosts. And let's get right into it. And then, you know, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do it guys. As you can see, we got Nell again. So uh, let's go and destroy these guys. As you can see there, you know, going in. You know, look at a very high damage output, as you can see there. So this is pretty much straight gameplay. Like, I mean, if you want to guess the damage, you know, it's pretty much like at maximum potential. And then root them up like this. Oh, I need to use this again. And then initiation damage. Give me some of these. 
And then initiation damage, look at that, very nice. I think the maximum I can do on the first strong attack is everything, if, if everything hit 4k, that's uh, 16k on the first strong attack only. And then we keep going this way. Very nice, go back down here. And then do some damage here. Oh, gotta be careful for that. I don't think we're gonna beat the time this time. Because I think with that, I used the Muramasa special to reach that fast. We'll see how close we get at least. And then I think we're at the boss room. Very nice. I mean, Yoruichi is pretty easy anyway. So we'll just do some of this. And then special. And then special. And then she uses that. And then we uh, cleared her out. So there you have it, guys. This is the Nell Showcase. Plus showing off my build for her. Oh, 119. Very close. And you know, pretty got, pretty got some good drops, you know, some of them got character drops and stuff. And there you have it guys. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was it was slightly on the lengthier side, but I just wanted to show you guys every single possible uh, way. Like every single possible combination of, you know, attribute advantage or killer advantage that I can show you guys. And hopefully this gives you a good idea on how she is. And if she's strong, or if you have her, if you want to level her up. I mean, I would definitely recommend to level her up and stuff. She's a really good character. You know, I'd say, you know, one of the top. I mean, that's what pretty much K-Lab did, you know. Made them OP. Plus the looks, you know, I guess it's like, they're just made to use up your orbs. But they're pretty much worth it. But yeah, it's been your boy Nitro Storm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Actually, before, before I go... I could also do the same thing for Nemu, but I'll let you guys decide. I think I'll put a quick vote, like if there, there'll be like an eye, an eye that will pop up right about now, which will ask you if you want me to showcase Nemu as well, because the build I have for Nemu would be pretty much the same. But if you want, if you want to see that, please let me know. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.